Sure. Um, if you get elected, you'll be the president uh, of, during the 40th anniversary of America's longest war, the war on drugs. And I was curious if you think we're winning that war on the federal level, and if not, what would you institute as policy changes? Yeah. Well, no, no, I don't think we are winning it. The ability for, um, first of all, I will tell you that the federal government has a rel has a, a role limited by the Constitution, once again, that I, I don't know if people really want to accept, but it's the truth. I mean, uh, we cannot make, I mean, the federal government should not be in the business of mandating uh, sentences for uh, state you know, for the violation of certain crimes. It has nothing to do with, I mean, we have a certain set of crimes that are absolutely federal. Transportation across lines, you know, the, all the, the espionage. There are federal statutes that are appropriate, right, and that's exactly what a federal government should be doing and looking to. But forcing states to adopt these things, absolutely not. I mean, I do not, I, I believe states should have the right. I have voted, I don't know how many times, four or five times now, I think we've had it up, where the federal government, uh, which have a, states have, have decided to actually accept medical marijuana, right, Use medical, to make it legal. Colorado happens to be one. I actually, I actually voted against it in Colorado. I voted no on the issue. It passed, right? Now the federal government is saying, you can't do it. We're, we're going to go after, we'll prosecute you if you do it. I, and I have voted every single time and say, you absolutely will not, you know? I can be against, I mean, I can be pro-drug laws, against drug usage, and all the rest of it. But, but again, it's the issue of where the federal government's law uh, rule, I mean, uh, where the federal government's, where the Constitution actually gives us the right to intervene and where it does not. Now, states have that right. Uh, I am, you know, I, there, is, there is an issue about the ability for states to be the, the laboratory. That's the whole idea, right? Having states the laboratories of democracy, things can work here that will not. You know, let's let them do that. Um, let's see what works and what doesn't. But I, I know the federal government's role should be limited there. Um, I'd like to piggyback off of that. And first of all, thank you for supporting the Tenth Amendment by pledging to end the unconstitutional raid on state licensed medical marijuana clinics. And I wanted to ask you. If, um, Last year, 44% of the voters in Nevada voted to end marijuana prohibition in their state. Um, not just for medical use, but the entire failed policy. If you become president and the state chooses to completely end the prohibition of marijuana during your term, how will you react? Well, it is, I will react just as I've explained to you. Uh, that is a decision of the state. Uh, there are federal laws that I will certainly will uphold. And, and Transportation, if it's a, when it's a federal law trans, against transporting against over state lines, that's appropriate. And I absolutely will do it. And I don't believe we should have it. I don't believe, frankly, that we should eliminate drug laws. I'm not one that says we should do that. But I'm also telling you that if the state of Nevada makes that decision, okay, just understand that uh, transportation across the lines will be enforced as a federal government. I mean, the federal government has that responsibility, and I will enforce it. 